The Amazon River Basin is home to the largest rainforest on Earth. The basin, roughly the size of the 48 contiguous United States, covers some 40% of the South American continent and includes parts of eight South American countries. The basin is drained by the Amazon River, the world's largest river in terms of discharge, and the second longest river in the world after the Nile. The river is made up of over 1,100 tributaries, 17 of which are longer than 1,000 miles, and two of which are larger, in terms of volume, than the Congo River. The Amazon is the world's biggest rainforest, larger than the next two largest rainforests, in the Congo Basin and Indonesia, combined. As of 2020, the Amazon has 526 million hectares of primary forest, which accounts for nearly 84% of the region's 629 million hectares of total tree cover. By comparison, the Congo Basin has around 168 million hectares of primary forest and 288 million hectares of tree cover. Today, the Amazon River is the most voluminous river on Earth, carrying more than five times the volume of the Congo or 12 times that of the Mississippi River. During the high water season, the river's mouth may be 300 miles wide and every day up to 18 billion cubic meters of water flow into the Atlantic Ocean. That discharge, equivalent to 209,000 cubic meters of water per second, could fill over 7.2 million Olympic swimming pools per day or supply New York City's freshwater needs for nine years. The Amazon's influence on the movement of moisture extends beyond the water that flows down the Amazon River. The trees of the Amazon rainforest pump vast quantities of water vapor into the atmosphere every day via transpiration. While much of this water falls locally as rain, some of this moisture is carried by airflows across other parts of the continent, including the agricultural heartland of South America to the south. This movement has been likened to flying rivers. By one estimate, 70% of Brazil's gross national product comes from areas that receive rainfall generated by the Amazon rainforest. While the Amazon basin is home to the world's largest tropical rainforest, the region consists of myriad other ecosystems ranging from natural savanna to swamps. The Amazon is home to more species of plants and animals than any other terrestrial ecosystem on the planet, perhaps 30% of the world's species are found there. The Amazon has a long history of human settlement, but in recent decades the pace of change has accelerated due to an increase in human population. The introduction of mechanized agriculture and integration of the Amazon region into the global economy. Vast quantities of commodities produced in the Amazon, cattle, beef and leather, oil and gas, and minerals, to name a few, are exported today to China, Europe, the US and other countries. This shift has had substantial impacts on the Amazon. This transition from a remote backwater to a cog in the global economy has resulted in large-scale deforestation and forest degradation in the Amazon. More than 1.4 million hectares of forest have been cleared since the 1970s. An even larger area has been affected by selective logging and forest fires. While destruction of the Amazon rainforest is ongoing, the overall rate of deforestation rate in the region dropped between the mid-2000s and mid-2010s, mostly due to the sharp decline in forest clearing in Brazil. However, deforestation has been steadily rising in the region in more recent years. Why should the Amazon rainforest and other rainforests be protected? Rainforests are natural air filters. They store and filter excess carbon and other pollutants from the atmosphere and release oxygen through photosynthesis. Without rainforests, our planet is unable to mitigate excess greenhouse gas emissions, which destabilizes the Earth's climate, 